Good morning and welcome to Bellevue Heights Church today, BHC today, on this Tuesday, April 21st. Any of you remember a six transistor radio like this back from the 60s? It was my Christmas present and boy was I ever excited to get this. And I tried my best, I love to listen to WOKY in Milwaukee, you know, walkie in Milwaukee. Oh, I loved it and listened to all kinds of music. Sometimes not so sure my parents knew what I was listening to, but I wasn't too bad. Or how about these uh, wire rim glasses from the late 60s? Oh, how different they were. And now you know why Meg won't let me have a mustache anymore. <laughs> but Meg and I were, this last weekend, we're going through some things in the, in the garage boxes and we had to sort of blast from the past with many of these items that brought back all kinds of memories. There was my slide rule I had in math class when I was in junior high school. Oh, I remember how excited I was to get that. Technology of the day, it was phenomenal what you could do with a slide rule. Then we had some report cards, junior high, senior high. Don't worry, you won't be seeing any of those. And then there was this typewriter paper with carbon paper for duplicating. You, you remember some of you, right? For typing, if you want to have an extra copy, you had to slip that carbon paper in behind and. Oh, it was sort of messy sometimes, but it worked. You got an extra copy that way. And then a, a bill of sale for my 1958 Volkswagen Bug. Oh, man, my first car. I had so much fun fixing that thing up, working on it, scraping the interior and having all kinds of things, just making it look just right. It was so much fun uh, to have that at college. And then there were other college yearbooks that we ran across, uh, my tennis letter jacket. Boy. How our world has changed. The results, the issues really are, are very diverse today. You know, with this coronavirus now, my hair is growing. I can't go to a barber until it's all over and uh, starting to get that wave again that it had before, just like it did back in the 70s and 60s. I, I noticed too that Pastor Dave got his hair cut yesterday. You know, our worship services are now streamed live. I mean, how different is that from the radio services that we had just a few years ago here at Bellevue Heights Church? All these new opportunities. But you know, we're still kind of isolated right now. I heard that if schools remain closed much longer, that parents are going to find a vaccine before the scientists find one. <laughs> well, that's interesting. How the tables have turned with our grown kids, too. Now they're yelling at us for going out too much. Stay at home and be safe, they tell us. Well, though many things have changed, has everything really changed all that much? The writer in Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verses 4 to 11 puts it this way. Generations come, generations go, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun sets, and hurries back to where it was. The wind blows to the south, turns to the north. Round and round it goes, and ever returning on its course. All streams flow into the sea, yet the sea is never full. The place to the streams they come from, that's where they return again. All things are wearisome, more than one can say. The eye never has enough of seeing, nor the ear full of its hearing. What has been will be again. What has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which one can say, look, there is something new? It was here already long ago. It was here. No one remembers the former generations, and even those yet to come will not be remembered by those who follow them. Church, this coronavirus will hopefully soon be gone, but we'll still need to be dependent upon our Lord. And He never changes. Technology changes, hairstyles, eye frames may not look the same today, but they may return again tomorrow. But the word of the Lord endures forever, is what Peter tells us in 1 Peter 1.25. His promises are everlasting. Pray with me. Gracious Father, thank you that in the midst of a world that is constantly changing, we have a God who never changes. 
our Lord Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so we trust in you, our Heavenly Father, in your Son, the Lord Jesus, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, I pray that we will be sustained and encouraged to know of your love and your faithfulness, both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen.